If you go to a sauna school, you're not really allowed to watch television. Do people watch television? Fuck. Yes. We just talk about it in hushed tones. I remember being at school and being like, Hey, did you guys see the new Polo Express movie on Channel 9? They're like, yes, I did. It was amazing. How does Tom Hanks do it? The animation was superb. And then the teacher would come around and you'd be like, Kumbaya, my lord, we're just knitting. Kumbaya. And the teacher would be like, Okay. I'm Hit it, Fergie. All the time I turn around, brothers gather around. Always looking at me up and down. Hello, my, my name is Ferg. Welcome to my channel. Like, subscribe, comment, and we will send you the forbidden black crown. As I've said, I went to one of the only government signer schools in Australia, and it was in quite a rough area. We're across the road from the Housing Commission flat, so we had like this equal mix of hippies and drug dealers, which I'm pretty sure is how Buddhism for white people started. I'll give you an example. I have some friends who I went to a signer school with who don't believe in possession, who have been charged with possession. If you've been to Strawberry Fields Music Festival, you kind of understand what I'm talking about. It's interesting when you're in alternative education because you don't know you're in alternative of education when you're in it. I'm not saying it's a cult, but I imagine being in a cult, you don't really know you're in the cult until you see the documentary in 30 years time on Netflix and you're like, is that me sipping a popsicle by the bonfire? Is that? <laughs> Here are some things you'll remember if you went to a Steiner school. Number one, calling your teacher by their first name. In a Steiner school, you are forbidden from calling your teacher Mr. or Mrs. You either have to call them Rain, Crystal, Meadow or Sapphire. <laughs> The weird thing about a sign of school is that you're in the same class from prep to year six, so it almost becomes as like one communal family, which works great if you have a nice class, but there's always one crazy kid in there, you know? It's always a kid on Ritalin who's on the roof doing knitting up there. You're like, come down! Come on! We're about to start making bread in a minute. You reckon this for everybody? Number two, Eurythmy was life. I think Eurythmy is the hardest concept to explain to kids who didn't go to a sign of school, because sometimes when I'm in the club, I'll break out out your rhythmy moves. You know what I mean? Like I'll flick left, I'll flick right, I'll do golden sun, magical tea, and I'm back. And people are like, how is he doing that? And I'm like, I've been training for seven years, all right? Every Wednesday, we light the candles, hit the relaxing music, and your mind will go into like a coma of just kid heaven where you're, you're dancing, you're feeling the vibe. It's kind of like Tai Chi yoga and interpretive dance mixed into one, but it's symbolic of a higher spiritual power and it's within you without you. It's George Harrison, it's the beat. It's everything. You come out of there and you'll never have an experience like it in your life. I know so many kids who went to a Steiner school who have ended up chasing drugs or psychedelics. I think because they're trying to replicate that experience that they had in a Eurythmy classroom, really they're looking for that spiritual experience, but they try and find it in these external stimulants. All I can say to those people, put the silk on, put the Eurythmy shoes on, start dancing and all will be healed. Number three, becoming proficient at recorder. I know a lot of schools teach kids how to play recorder, but nobody does it quite like Steiner schools. It's amazing because you start learning hot cross buns and you're kind of underconfident. You're like, hot cross buns. And then by year six, they've put so much time into recorder that you're playing Scatman proficiently. Do you know how to read? Not yet, but you can play Scatman on cue. You go to a house party in like seven years and someone will be like, oh, can you read this label? And you're like, nah, I'm illiterate, but I can play Scatman proficiently. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Number four, making bread. Now during COVID lockdown, everybody was making bread. Everybody was producing sourdough. I know Halgers were a bit worried that their business was gonna fall because of the quantity of sheer gluten that was being thrown into the cosmos. In a Steiner school, you start baking from day one. I'm talking, you walk into the classroom and everybody's got a baker's hat on and there's like a, there's like a production line happening where you're just cooking. You're making shapes, you're making circles. You never, ever, ever make bread that has corners on it, okay? Because in Steiner education, corners are forbidden. I remember once I made a bread roll, everybody had round bread rolls. My one was in the shape of a square. I think I was almost expelled, all right? They're like, not the corner! Ah! Number five, not being allowed to watch television. If you go to a Steiner school, you're not really allowed to watch television. Do people watch television? Fuck. Yes, all right, we just talk about it in hushed tones. I remember being at school and being like, hey, did you guys see the new Polo Express movie on Channel 9? They're like, yes, I did. It was amazing. How does Tom Hanks do it? The animation was superb. And then the teacher would come around and you'd be like, kumbaya, my lord, we're just knitting, kumbaya. And the teacher would be like, 
Okay, I'm coming. Knit, knit, knit. Now I reckon people might watch this video and say, Ferg, are you making fun of sign of schools? No, watch my first video, all right? I have a master's of education and a bachelor's degree in philosophy from the number one university in Australia. And I can tell you that the kids who I met to sign of schools are more grounded. I know I'm not being a great example of it, <laughs> of stoicism, but they're more grounded and there's uh, an attraction to light, an attraction to happiness, an attraction to things that are higher, I think, and less materialistic. I think if you went to a mainstream school, you're indoctrinated with the idea that you have to be an economic asset for the government. In a sinus school, you're indoctrinated with the idea that you have to enhance to a spiritual experience. You have to connect to people as a human being and not someone who can be used for your benefit. Yes, you'll become proficient at knitting. You'll be able to play Scatman on recorder. You'll be making dough. You might not learn how to read until year five, but you become a better reader in a weird way, you know? I did philosophy in English and I feel like I was reading at better levels than the kids who learned in year one. Just because you learn something quicker doesn't mean you learn something better. In the culture, there's this idea that you have to get things done. You have to be productive. You can also have a fun time. You can enjoy life. You can enjoy the light that is radiating on you. You don't have to be in a cubicle and be like, Jesus Christ, I've got to make these KPI. Get the beeswax out. Start rubbing it. You'll get this tingly feeling on the back of the head and then you'll transcend yourself. My name's Fergus Neal. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media. Keep doing what you're doing. And I hope the black crown finds you soon. Hit it, Fergie. All the time I turn around, brothers gather around. Always looking at me up and down, looking at my...